Hi there, in this video we will explore how we can test objects, methods and their attributes using TestMost. Let's get started. First of all, it would be great if we had an actual class and an instance of the class that we could test. So let's implement a very basic mouse class with a simple methods and attributes that we can use for our test scenario. As you already know, we want to create our classes in a lib folder, so let's do that. Let's create a lib folder and in there, let's create a file and let's call it human.vm. Now you already know that we usually start with use strict and use warnings and then we're going to use mouse it helps us to write object-oriented code and actually before using the strict and warnings we want to declare our package we chose the name of human for our pro module so also the package name is going to be human and finally we return a truthy value now let's introduce some attributes for example has name that it's going to be a simple read-only attribute so you can only set it at initialization it's going to be a string so string and no other definitions are needed we're going to set the name when we initialize this attribute and also let's add two methods so let's say sub speak where we simply are going to return hello oops so hello from and we're going to concatenate with a shift context which is currently self and use the name and then let's add another method and let's say sub walk where we're just going to return a number or maybe let's call this walking so walking speed and number 70 so the point being is that one method is returning a string which is hello from and then it accesses the self attribute which is name and then the walking speed is 70 which doesn't really hold any meaning but it just returns a number all right so let's go to our test file and the first useful test method we can use is called use okay and the use okay is pretty much the same as use but instead of just using the module it's also going to validate if it can be found and that it's being loaded correctly so we're going to say use okay or human class and let's run our test just to make sure that everything is okay so it's going to be our prove command let's use the verbose flag and then test directory and or test now this is going to fail because as we know we need to specify our libraries where Perl can look for the modules as we do with Perl commands we can include the libraries using minus capital I. So in this case, our human class won't be found and there is going to be a test failure. So let's run the test and we're going to see that our test fails and basically it just says that cannot locate human.pm in includes where basically all the paths are being stored that Perl can look at to load the modules. Now let's rerun our prove command and this time let's actually include our lib directory and run the test again and you're going to see that everything is okay getting one test passed which says that using a human was okay now the second useful method you can use is called isa okay first of all initialize a new human instance so my human equals human new and then let's set the name such as joe Save that and how you can use the isa ok is simply isa underscore ok and the first parameter that you provide is the instance you want to test for and the second parameter is the package name you want to validate that this instance belongs to so in our case our package name is human so we want to make sure that instance of the variable human actually is of class human so we can say human and we can also describe this test saying got the expected class Right, if we save this and rerun our test, we're going to see that second test now passes fine as well. The next useful test keyword we're going to look at is called can ok. And can ok basically validates that instance of our class has the expected methods and attributes. And how can you use that method is you can say can ok and you provide your human instance and then you can provide a list of methods. In our case, we have one attribute which is name and then we have a speak methods and we have a walking speed. Let's validate that we have the expected attributes and the methods. So we're after name, which is the attributes, speak, which is one of the methods, and walking speed is the third method. If we save the test, rerun it, we're going to now see that we now have three tests which are passing successfully. And of course, if I introduce a method that doesn't exist, such as, let's just say, nope, and rerun the test, we're going to see that our test now fail. And basically it says that can our human do a method which is called nope, and this test failed. And these are very core methods you want to use when you're validating instance of your classes. As for validating the values that are being returned from these methods, there isn't anything different from what we already looked at. For example, if we want to validate that the speak method returns hello from and the name, we can simply say is human. Then we call the speak method the value that we expect. So in this case, this is going to be hello from Joe. 
and we can just describe the test and we can add the method name here so just speak if we save that run the test oops looks like we have the nope method that doesn't exist so let's remove that we run the test now you can see that we're simply using the is keyword to check the value as we have done it before using the script files and of course the same goes for numbers so you can say is human walking speed and that was number 70 and you can say that we are testing walking speed method so rerun the test and you can see everything passes. Now that's it for this video. We looked at how we can use modules using the useOK okay method, how we can check that instances of our classes belong to a specific class through the isOK okay keyword. And we also looked at how we can assure that we have the expected methods on our instances through the canOK okay method, where we validated that we have name, speak, and walking speed methods, well, name being the actual attribute. And just to reiterate, when you want to test the actual values which are being returned from calling the methods, you don't use anything special to validate what is being returned. Simple methods such as is or OK or compare deeply and so on and so on will do the trick. There really isn't anything different between using a function from a script or using methods on the instances. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you at the next one.